Hello everyone, it's Unicorn here. Today we are playing some For Honor. I got a little quick guide for you guys. We're going to be learning how to use the Peacekeeper. Now, uh, a lot of people say that, uh, that the Peacekeeper is a, a cheap class, but they've really, uh, they've really nerfed her, so she isn't really that good anymore. But I'm going to give you a little, little how-to. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and look at the hero specifics for the peacekeeper. We have the reflex, your guard stance only remains active for a limited amount of time. This is a good thing and a bad thing. The other person has no idea where you're coming from. You could be coming from the left, the right, top, they don't know. And it's also a bad thing because you have to constantly be looking out to where they're attacking from and constantly defending on those points. Now deflect, this is one of my favorites. If you dodge right at the right time, you can deflect the impact and follow it up with a really good <laughs> a really good hit and it stops their their chain. The dagger cancel. Cancel any heavy attack during the startup with a light attack. That one. That one, one is it's a really good one. Stab cancel. Press X in between stabs to back away. And a zone attack. Cancel zone attack after the first attack with B. All right, now we'll get into the uh, to the moves. Twisted blades. Light, light, heavy. Now this is one that. A lot of people are going to use right off the bat. That's it's an easy one. It's really easy to master. It's just simple. Dervish strikes does a does a little less damage, but it's a faster thing. Sword dance is a good double heavy attack. It's quite fast actually compared to everybody else's heavy attack. Slipping lunge. Now, I don't use this that much, but uh, I've heard it's pretty good. The deep gouge. RT with the RB. You have to hit the, the heavy for it to actually count. Dashing thrust. This is one of my favorites. This is, this is something I always lead with. And if the person gets used to it, then I jump in there, switch it up. The sidestep strike, you won't be using this that much. It's The sidestep is good, but you're going to be wanting to use deflect more than you want to use your sidestep strike. The stab, they nerf the stab. It doesn't really work that well anymore. I wouldn't use it. It's something if you, if you want to get that last little bit of health, you can grab them, stab them a few times, but uh, it's really not that that worth it. Now I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this word because you know English, but uh, this is a good one. Right when you deflect, that's when you dodge right into their oncoming attack right at the right time. You can follow it up with a light attack, and it never misses. All right, let's uh, let's show a few of these off. We're gonna go in with the uh, with the beginning. That's the first, the first combo on the list. Light, light, heavy. Now, when you're when you're using the peacekeeper, you need to be attacking from different angles. Try and go for an up side up or a side side up keep them guessing don't go in a circle don't use the same attack twice keep them guessing now if they're used to you not going in a circle that's when you change it back up and you get into the circle but but usually the rounds don't go more than enough for them to know what your plan is all right, Dervish Strikes. Let's do this one. Well, 
Look at that. That's a pretty good attack. Get that execution. It does it does a quite a bit of damage. And uh we'll go sword dance next. Now the sword dance the sword dance is just two heavy attacks. Look at that, just getting mauled. It's really hard to, to hit the double heavy attack. Um, it's, it's... Unless they're not ready for it, it it's pretty much impossible to hit it. Round three. Hey, there's, not, there's not a time when you're going to be using that over anything else. Look at that. Trying to use a trying to use the slipping lunge. That's why I don't use that. It doesn't it doesn't do anything, in my opinion. Cancel any heavy attack during the startup with a light attack. We'll try and do that and the bleeding gouge. Now they have two rounds on me. Because I'm trying to mess around, so. All right, bleeding gouge and dagger cancel. Look at that, that poison right there. That bleed damage though. That's that sword cancel. Oh my goodness. Alright, there you go. That's that bleed out damage that I was talking about. Now they're just dead. They can't. They can't really defend against bleeding out. I mean, they can try and rush you, but if you're a peacekeeper, it's it's pretty hard to catch up. We've already won over the the dashing thrust. And that's one of my favorites. But we'll go over it again. That's the dashing thrust. Oh yeah. Look at that deflect. So I just wanted to bring everyone into the fold real, right quick. The whole thing about the Peacekeeper, in my opinion, the Peacekeeper is someone that closes the gap quickly, takes, takes damage, and gets out. One of the best things about the peacekeeper is you need to you can get in there and you can get out you can get in there and you can get out all right so now that we know all the moves for the peacekeeper we're gonna we're gonna show you how to use them all right so what you need to do is you need to get in close get your attacks off and get out As long as they're as long as they're far away, they can't hit you. But you can come in with that quick that quick attack, bleed them out, and it's all over. I mean that's not really honorable, but are you trying to be honorable or are you trying to win? In my opinion, it's better to be honorable, but I'm just showing you how to 
the best way to play the character. Something else I like to do. We'll use all of these moves together. Come on, come on, attack me. He has a he has quite a bit faster um, He has a faster swing time and less time to actually have myself get ready for that dodge for the deflect. So it's a little more difficult against some of these characters who have a fast attack to get that deflect in there. And you don't always need the deflect to win. All of these tools are, are for different characters. You come against different characters, you can knock some of them out different ways. When you're fighting someone like a harasser, you need to stay away, keep your dodges, keep your deflects. I'm sorry. When you're fighting a harasser, you need to keep your distance, time your attacks, back up, let him uh, try to come towards you, keep him, keep him away, keep him away, dodge around him. Once they're uh, once they're low on stamina, though, it's pretty much fair game. Okay, here we go. Final kill. 